Yellow guys, it is Fluffy says here back in our video for you guys today. Today, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to install SideQuest, which is an application that opens up a library of extensive free games that you can play on your Oculus Quest and your Oculus Quest 2. If you spend all of your money on your Quest or Quest 2 and have no more money to spend on games, then this is absolutely perfect for you, as SideQuest can run on any laptop or computer. All you need is to be able to plug in your headset into your laptop or computer computer and then you can sideload any of the games onto your headset with no cost out of your pocket. But with that being said, let's just jump straight into today's video. First things first, you're going to want to open up a web browser of choice. This can be anything like Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, or like Firefox. Then you want to head to SideQuestVR.com where you can then click up at the top where it says get SideQuest. The download page will load where you can either grab a Windows download, a Mac version download, or a Linux download. Click the download for your OS. In my case, this is Windows. You don't actually have to drag it to your desktop. It'll just make it easier for me to show you in today's video. Double click on it to run it. Once it runs, you can then start the installation process. Once you've gone through the installation process, click finish and run SideQuest. SideQuest will then boot up and as you can see, it is a whole library of games and apps that you can get for your headset. But if you look up into the top right, it'll say that no device is connected. In order for your device to be read by SideQuest, you must first turn on developer mode for your headset. This is super simple to do and I have a video up in the top right if you click on that eye or in the description if you can't click on that eye, that'll teach you how to do it. But long story short, you have to create an organization through Oculus and then you can head to the app on your phone and turn on developer mode for your Quest or Quest 2. Once you've done that, you can then plug your headset into your computer. This can be done with any cable as long as it transfers data, including your charging cable that comes with the headset. Once you've done that, a green dot should appear up in the top right as long as you allow everything to be accessed from within your headset. Once you have that green dot, you're free to go get any game or app that you would like to put onto your headset. You can scroll through or search up in the top right if you click on that little magnifying glass for any game or app you would like. I definitely recommend checking out Pavlov and Hyperdash. I talk about them in my top 10 free games that you should get on your Quest and Quest 2. That video will also be linked down in the description if you want to check it out. But basically, all you have to do is head to the game or app you want, click on it, and then click install the headset up in the top right. The installation will begin. You can check up on the process by clicking the pink number up in the corner. That'll basically tell you what is running on your computer and installing to your headset. Once the installation slash download is complete, you should then be free to head to your headset and play your game. Once your game is fully downloaded, you are able to untether from your PC, basically meaning you can unplug your cord and play wirelessly once again. Accessing your brand new games is super simple. All you have to do is head to your apps, then click on that little drop down up in the top right with the universal menu, and then scroll down to unknown sources. Once you get to unknown sources, you should see all of the apps that you have gotten on your headset. From there, you can click whatever you want, and it should load up and you should be able to play. If this video helped you out at all, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more by me. And if you want to check out my live streams, make sure you go follow my Twitch, that is twitch.tv slash fluffy says, or just hit that notification bell on the YouTube and that way you get notified every time I start a stream. While you're down there, if you want to help support me, you can click that little join button and then you can become a little lettuce, a bear cub, or a mama bear. Thank you to all of my members that I have right now. You guys are absolutely amazing. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.